Uh, before we start, I will explain how the session is set up and how everything works. So the purpose of doing the session today is to conduct some customer research uh, for an airline website. So we're trying to identify issues that can be fixed um, and make the website easier to use. Um, and the feedback you are going to provide today is going to be very useful for us um, to pinpoint the areas of improvement. Um, so the way this has been set up today, the room, so you have the computer. Um, I'll be asking you some questions. I'll be talking you through the test um, as well. Uh, we have a camera, so we are being recorded on a microphone. So we need this for note taking purposes in the future. And then uh, just one more thing is the session will be divided into two parts. So first I will ask you some questions about yourself, <coughs> about your, I suppose, internet using habits, your travel habits, and then we will uh, do the tasks okay. on the website. Okay, so some things to keep in mind as well before we start. You're not the one being tested. There's no such thing as the wrong thing to do. Um, if you make mistakes, well, there's no mistakes. If you come into any issues or problems, that's okay. As my, um, the more issues you have with the website, I guess, is better for us so we can identify how to uh, fix them and how to make it more usable, the website. Uh, be as honest as you can. Uh, if you don't like something, tell me. If you do like something, you can tell me that as well. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about what I kind of want to hear, I suppose, after as well. And then just be very verbal about what you're doing. Um, if you see a button and if you want to click on the button, maybe tell me why you're clicking on that button. Do you like how it looks? Well, you don't have to, but whatever feels natural. Uh, I just need to know as much as possible from um, you using the website. Okay. So we'll start with the personal questions and uh, I'll just get some paper for you to write down the task okay. after in case we, we need it, but this is for later. So for now, I'll just ask you some Thank questions. You. Uh, what is your occupation? Hi, I'm a procurement coordinator. Okay, and where do you live? I live in Ireland. Okay, and how do you usually access the internet, um, like through computer? Or Usually through computer, yeah, through uh, the laptop. Yeah, okay. Uh, at home or is it at work? Both, at home and at work. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I also use internet through my phone. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um. So I uh, just usually use a laptop or a desk desktop. A uh, laptop. Okay, and um, you access obviously through broadband or Wi-Fi. Um, uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And what? kind of apps would you use on your phone? Well, I use Facebook, WhatsApp, that's mostly it. Okay, and what about on your computer? What do you, what kind of websites would you log into? Well, I would log into, what? Uh, Mail.ru to, mm -hmm. to watch the news, as mm -hmm. I, although I live in, in Ireland, I'm Russian, so mm -hmm. interested in Russian news. Mm -hmm. I would also log into MSN to mm -hmm. see what Irish and British news are about. And that would be mostly it. I don't really bother much with anything else. Okay. Yeah. And the next few questions are just about your travel website usage. Okay. Okay. So what kind of traveling would you typically do outside of the COVID Well, we would go situation? on holidays in summer mm -hmm. and if possible, we would go on holidays in winter and maybe one city break during the year. So the maximum three trips a year, the minimum one. Yeah. Okay. On these days, maybe it will be zero. God knows. Not for long. Uh, where would you fly to? Like, what would be the typical destinations? Well, mostly it would be around Europe, like mm -hmm. say Greece maybe, or Spain or Italy. Mm -hmm. Well, I only went to Italy once, mm -hmm. Greece most of the times. And yes, obviously I go to Russia. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. maybe once in two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. And how do you book your flights? Well, that would be either from the website of the provider mm -hmm. or maybe sometimes we would use or oh, what do you call it forgot well anyway the the website which connects the flights yeah, yeah like an aggregator yeah yeah, yeah. Like a search engine like um can you think of an example of uh, expedia yeah, that's that's expedia. what we go to yeah expedia okay and so you usually book uh, how through the like the internet obviously you know like tour operators or anything like that. 
No, no. Well, maybe we booked the tour operator once, but that was pre-internet time. Internet wasn't that much used. Since it became more available, we always book through the internet. Yeah. yeah only use provider once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The very first holiday in Turkey, that's the only thing was booked through the provider. Yeah. Can't remember the name of the provider. Well, probably doesn't no need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. So which, what uh, airlines would you fly with, typically? Oh, to Greece. We would normally go with uh, Greek airlines. What is the name on it? Aegean. Aegean airlines. We yeah. normally would book through them and like would fly with them. Yeah. Um, through Europe. That would be ma mainly, preferably, Aer Lingus. Mm -hmm. But if it's not uh, possible or available, okay, Ryanair will do. Okay. But yeah. we would prefer not to fly with Ryanair. Yeah. Why do you prefer not to fly with Ryanair? Uh, it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. It's uncomfortable and it's always far away and the time sometimes is very inconvenient. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and there is a lot of uh, hidden charges in it. Okay. So, so you think that you're buying a ticket maybe for 50 euro, but by the end of it, it will be 70 or 80. So mm -hmm. I think that kind of Aer Lingus is more honest and more convenient. Okay, yeah. Um, what about the last time you booked a flight yourself online? Uh, can you think of uh, the last thing, the time that that happened? Uh, I suppose last summer when we were, me and my daughters, we went to Italy. So yeah, that mm -hmm. was me who booked the flight. Okay, so um, where where did you go? Where were you traveling to? We went to Milan. Milan, okay, yeah. And... Um, when did you make the decision to travel? And with this question, I mean, from the moment of when you decided you're going to go mm -hmm. until the moment when you booked your trip, mm -hmm. do you remember approximately how long it took you to do that whole process, maybe? Well, maybe maybe that was all decided in two weeks. Okay. I'd like decided and done. Yeah, that's fine. Great. And the next question is, what was the most important aspect you were looking at for when you were booking those specific flights okay what was the most important i guess it was the, well tickets were cheap that was one of the reasons that is why we booked it very quickly so the price wasn't right, really yeah. of any sort of like importance mm -hmm. we wanted the time to be convenient so we didn't want to get up very early mm -hmm. or to fly back very late so mm -hmm. the time of the yeah. departure and arrival um, that was the most important and obviously we tried to make the most of it so we wanted say to come to Italy in the morning but not too early and to leave Italy in the evening but not too late so timing mm -hmm. timing yeah. was the, the most important what about the how did you choose the destination why did you decide Milan and did you fly into um where did you fly into in Milan? Because there are a few airports there. Oh, do I remember? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of the airport. Ber Bergamo. Bergamo airport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bergamo. That's what we uh, came to. Uh, the airport probably wasn't important. Um, for what reason? We've never been to Milan before. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know the area that well and we didn't study that part either. So we just thought if it's that far from Milan, at least we will travel on the train and see yeah. the countryside. So that wasn't really very important. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a bit kind of away from Milan. It was about 40 minutes uh, mm -hmm. yeah, by train. But the journey was pleasant and very easy and mm -hmm. it was fine. So okay. yeah. And when you were booking the flight, you knew that the airport was a bit far from Milan. Um, did you have to look into the option, like the transport options to get to the city um, before you booked your flight? Or did you just do it after? No, we, we did that before. And we knew it's a bit far away, but most airports are anyway. So mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's very rare that we meet airport in the middle of the city. So yeah. that didn't bother us. Yeah, but yes, we looked at the options how to arrive to Milan before mm -hmm. we before booked the tickets, yeah. Okay, and which airline did you go for in the end, or did you... Uh, we went with Ryanair, mm -hmm. just because, I don't know, because it was cheap. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, that was the reason, it was very cheap, so we decided to go with this. And yeah, the timing was suitable, so mm -hmm. it was fine. Did you compare prices with other airlines? No, no. Yeah. no. 
Uh, why not? Just um, have... I don't know. It was a very spontaneous decision, and the price was so affordable that mm-hmm. we kind of, you know, it wasn't very well planned, I suppose, but it was very enjoyable anyway. So, and yeah, just because I saw the, the, the ridiculously cheap price, I mm-hmm. decided we will go. Mm-hmm. And how did you book it? Uh, we booked through Ryanair through website, the... yeah, 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 through, yeah, through, through their own website. Cool. And where did they see that? I don't know. Probably on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Because that's what I would mostly use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you saw like a... Maybe I saw the ad. ad. I, I can't remember now how, how I came about it. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah. That's, I just saw the ad and I thought, oh, that's very cheap. But why not to go? Do you sign up to maybe Ryanair um, mailing list or anything? No. 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 Yeah. We don't do that. <laughs> why not? Why would I need it? If I want to go somewhere, yeah. I'll find a way to go. Yeah. yeah, I suppose, yes, I was looking for something sunny. Yeah, yeah. I was probably kind of yeah, fishing for it, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, cool. Um, so you mentioned you were traveling uh, as a group. Well, yes, yeah, it was three of us, yeah. And did you book only your own ticket or did you book everyone's ticket? No, I booked I, the, the tickets. Maybe I booked the tickets, yeah. Uh, yeah, all three. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And what uh, kind of communication? To maybe if it was my eldest daughter, maybe we would get a airport nearer me to Milan. <laughs> maybe it would be a better travel. But that was me, so I'm not that savvy. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Uh, so what? 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 Um, type of communication did you have between the you and uh, the other travelers? How did you like? How did you uh, talk to each other about the trip? Or maybe were you? Yeah, how did do you remember how yeah, it all took place? Okay, we have a chat mm-hmm. on WhatsApp. Yeah. So we communicated mostly through the web, uh, through that chat, through or, or maybe we rang each other if necessary. I can't remember, but yeah, WhatsApp group. Yes, we have that, so we use that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And in uh, you weren't like face to face looking at the tickets. You were all in different. Uh, well, my youngest daughter lives with me, so she was with me all the time, and the eldest, yeah, we had to communicate through the WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so messages and WhatsApp, cool. And what uh, type of information did you share in the group? Oh, I suppose the dates, yeah. the dates and the price. Yeah, the mm-hmm. dates, yeah, mainly it was about the dates, because she had to take time off, mm-hmm. I had to take time, o- time off, and yeah, the youngest was available, she was on holidays. And do you remember how? What? How did you send that information? Was it links? Was it um, screenshots? Or did you type out the, the information maybe? Or maybe voice messages? Or how did you actually communicate that message on to them? Well, I'd say probably my daughter, she probably sent a screenshot. Mm-hmm. And I most likely would be typing it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you find that... Um, method of sharing information convenient when yeah, you're yes flights. yes yes mm-hmm. do you think didn't there's... find any difficulties or like no it's fine it's fine it's do you think fine. there could be an easier way to to, to communicate community? like if you're just with flights booking a flight specifically because you know it can be a bit um inconvenient i guess to you know, share screenshots and links and things expire and things like that. Do you think there could be an easier way, maybe? Of course, you could just pick up a phone and call and just discuss it, you know, so mm-hmm. to speak. It would be maybe it would be easier if you could share a screen. Mm-hmm. Like, say we share a screen. You, uh, you are on one side of the planet, I'm on the other side of the planet, but we are flying from the same place to... to a different place kind mm-hmm. of and the same we could share a screen that would be easier we could mm-hmm. just look at the same sc- at the same screen at the same time from different mm, yeah. kind of places that would be yeah that would be more convenient of course mm-hmm. yeah cool yeah, just trying to um, figure out what users would find useful i suppose okay so we can now move on to the task Okay. Uh, so for this, you can first write down the task. I will tell you what you will need to do on the website, and then we can continue. Okay. Um, so you are living in Cork. Okay. <laughs> you you have to fly from Cork to Faro in Portugal. Faro. Mm-hmm. And you will travel at the end of October. Okay. And you will fly out on a Saturday. Okay. 
Saturday before the end of October. So maybe the okay. last Saturday of October. And it's a return for three days. Mm-hmm. You return three days later. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, three nights. Okay. Yeah, and it's for two people. Okay. Two people. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now we have the task. So you can log on to airlingus.com. Why is it Erlingus? Because that's the website we're testing. Okay. So, hold. I didn't know that, did I? Okay, Erlingus. Accept all cookies. Please confirm your home country and preferred origin airport. Okay, so we go with Ireland. Okay, so origin airport Cork. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do we want? New language, English. Mm -hmm. Okay, confirm. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this um, homepage, the, the pop up window? It's fine. Mm -hmm. well, I don't see any inconvenience or anything in it. So, mm -hmm. plan and book, experience, your lingus, travel information, da 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 da. So we need return. We going from Cork. We are going to Faro. Uh, not sure if I spelled right. Don't know right. you at the end of that. Okay. Far oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now uh, view all airports. Okay. Uh, why would I need all airports? That's well. I already picked Faro. Alicante. Da da da. Okay. So I just go like this now. Okay, so that's it. So departure date. Uh, I'm going in October 2021. Mm -hmm. October, last Saturday, so it's the 30th. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and it's three nights. So one, two, three, so I'm back on Monday, is that it? You're going for three nights. Oh, hold on, October, uh, the one, two, I'm, I'm coming back in November, mm -hmm. uh, 30th, 31st, on the 2nd, I'm coming home. Am I counting right? I don't know, maybe you said Saturday. Like, so 30th, yeah. one night, 31st, the uh, second night, and the first, uh, the third night, three nights. 30th, 31st. And the first, so back on the second. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, two passengers, adults. Okay, apply two passengers, search flights. Okay, so just before we go any further, um. What do you kind of could you describe what do you see on this page and what do you think it all means for you and for your trip? Uh, the current page, mm -hmm. yeah, Cork to Faro Algarve. What does it mean for me? Just, just what do you see? Well, to yeah. me, it's a little bit pale and like, see, the writing. Well, I suppose maybe it's my age, all could be a little bit sort of like, I don't know. The letters could be a little bit more fat, if if you know what I mean. You know, the lines could be a little bit more mm -hmm. kind of definite, so, yeah. uh, say brighter, or you know. Yeah. And how would you select your flight now? How would I select my flight? Okay, Saturday no flights, mm -hmm. Sunday no flights, Monday, no. Mm -hmm. but there is no flights whatsoever. So there is a flight on Thursday. Yeah. And do you find what do you think about this? Um, the line. The bar. With the dates, do you find it useful? Well, not that it's not useful. It looks very kind of industrial, but well, it's fine. Now let's see if there is more. Sat oh, Sunday. To okay, so well, it's it's convenient enough to go back and forth, which is fine. Mm -hmm. So there is no flights anyway. So do 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 do. It's Sunday, twenty fourth. 
Tuesday 26, Thursday 16, okay. So um, now do I have to book anyway, even if there is no, like there is no flights on Saturday and no flights on Sunday, so That's I have okay. to pick the date. It's or just what? a preferable date, but you can choose okay, whatever is the, so I can pick and choose. The, the closest to that date. So I think there was... Um, you know what I find kind of inconvenient? There, I think there was a flight on Thursday, but mm -hmm. then they jump, you know the way? Mm -hmm. That is a little bit confusing. Now I found it. So mm -hmm. I guess I'll go for Thursday then. Mm -hmm. So I'll click here. Thursday, I need to go for three nights. That will be uh, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So Sunday back. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will go with this, I guess. Ah, no, hold on, Thursday, that's there. We are mm -hmm. going to Faro. Mm -hmm. Now we need to find a flight back from Faro. Mm -hmm. So that's here. And this is what? So 28th, I still have to keep the three nights, for example. No, say, say I need it. Like, oops, content forbidden from being accessed, okay. So this is not the flight back then. That's actually. Oh, it's loading now. I don't know what's happening. You have to wait. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Why are you confused? Well, if you think what, about what it, you do in this if case? if it was in real life, that's a bit slow and it's a little bit confusing too. So if say the first bar is departure, the the bar underneath should be kind of returning flight but it's either not that or i don't know what happened so that's a little bit confusing okay so you can proceed with what would you do normally i would just say if that and maybe i'll try to do it later okay so, for the purpose of this test, maybe what would you do? For the pur should I try? I would start over again. That's what I would do anyway. I would start over again. Okay. <clears throat> so, do I close it then and start over? Okay, I'll do what I would normally do. I close it all altogether. Okay, return. Okay, so it was garden. Departure. I'll start again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, October. What did you say I have to fly? Saturday. Uh, closest to the last Saturday, but okay, it's 30th. Not necessary. Okay, that's 30th. Mm -hmm. Okay, 30 years. Can I uh, quick, ask a quick question? Yeah, of course, see, yeah. Um, well, because we <laughs> this is our second time on the website, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, when you were selecting the date, you just click on the drop-down menu. Do you think there are any other possibilities to select the date? Mm -hmm. Maybe in manage, my, manage trip. But from the actual search bar, do you think it's possible to do anything else? I never tried, so I don't know. Okay, that's fine. We can just search. Okay, so we came back to the same. Okay, see, I decide if I can't go on Saturday, I'll go on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's 69. Yeah, well, so no, what, what work kind to, of work, information would you look at when you're... Work to Faro, 69, Thursday 28th. They are not giving the time yet, but maybe later, I don't know. The time of what? Of the flight. I'd like to see that before I book. The time of the flight? From Cork. Like the time of the flight, the time when I'm flying. Mm -hmm. I'd and like to know. It's not on the page, is it? No, I don't see it, do you? Oh, you can't see it at all. No, I don't see it. I'd like to see it. I would prefer to see it. Where can you go to see the 
to search for the details maybe well maybe i'll do it later on i, I, I want to see uh, when can i fly back mm -hmm. maybe, maybe they'll show the time later i don't know let's see okay so flying too far on thursday instead of saturday mm -hmm. so now that's far uh, to cork um and there are no flights Oops, content forbidden from being accessed. You do not have permission to view this page. Okay. Go to home page. So that's the second try. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll try one more time. Oh, I already know it's Thursday. <coughs> okay, I'm saying I'm coming back on 31st. Mm -hmm. And there is two passengers. Search. Okay. Okay, so you have the flight Economy. selected. Uh, well, uh, too far. I can't, mm -hmm. I can't find the flight from far. So there is one now on Thursday. Faro Algarve to Cork. Mm -hmm. And but okay, they can't fly on the same day, can I? Makes no sense. So I'll go there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> no flights. You, just, you can select whatever is next available. Maybe they don't have flights that far. They don't. They don't seem to have. Maybe it's the wrong time to test the something like that just because of the COVID situation. Should they pick Thursday 28th flying back? Let's try it maybe. Okay, so maybe just to go around. So now. Well, you, let's go back and maybe just pick the week, week before. Okay. Maybe it will work again. So now let's see what's here. Mm -hmm. Economy throne. Saver class, okay. And what, what do, you, do you know the difference between all of these? What do you think they are? Well, I suppose saver is the cheapest, plus mm -hmm. you know, well, yeah, just by the price advantage, maybe has some insurance or something else. So the more expensive, more different mm -hmm. things on it. So, no, that just I, I have no interest in any of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll go here then. Mm -hmm. And I'll fly from Cork on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and I'll be back then. I'll be back on Thursday. Mm -hmm. that, that will be better. Mm -hmm. So what do you know now about your both of your flights? What, what information do you have about your flights? Well, all I know that I'm flying on Tuesday mm -hmm. to Faro and I'm coming back. But that will be, look, it's 19th of October, mm -hmm. uh, that's too long. Okay, I'll pick this one. So on the 21st, mm -hmm. I'm flying from Cork. Mm -hmm. Well, actually it shows the time now, mm -hmm. 2020. So I'll be in Faro at 11 o'clock. So, and then that's on the 21st of October mm -hmm. and I'm coming back on Tuesday 28th quite late i don't like this flight but there mm -hmm. is no other options so i guess if i really want to fly i have to take this so yeah mm -hmm. that's about it so about the fa about your fare mm -hmm. okay okay so i picked that mm -hmm. you know it's kind of for me i should just have some sort of an icon now i could click on mm -hmm. and just go further but i don't even know what to click on mm -hmm. what do you think you need to do next oh that's the thing well i'll click on um on this mm -hmm. and see what happens but to me it's a bit unclear mm -hmm. where should i click yeah. to make the booking okay and that just shows you uh, mm -hmm. like information about the ticket yeah which i suppose i don't really need so i click on this i already picked the cheapest Mm -hmm. Did you did you choose the, the fare? 
Oh yes, I think so. Did I not? How would you perceive that from this? That's that's the thing. I don't know. Okay, that's edit. That's not good. Where can you click? Where where else can you try to click to well, see? Well, I'll go on and click on this, but that's editing. Mm -hmm. What does edit good give to me? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what's happening here. So twenty first from Cork, twenty eighth from Faro to passengers, but that's back again to the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So and that's already picked here. Mm -hmm. Cork to Faro. That's a funny website. <laughs> oh, it's me. Yeah, so we need to find a way to proceed from this page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's click on this and see. Okay, mm -hmm. total zero. So, did you, why, is it, do you, why do you think your total is at zero? Because I didn't pick anything. Mm -hmm. So, you didn't pick the fare? No, flight details. Well, I picked the fare, boss. Mm -hmm. Where I, did you pick I, the fare? Hmm? Where did you pick the fare? Well, what do you mean where on the website? <laughs> where, Here. Where did you go to pick the fare? Hmm? Where, 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 where did you click on the fare? Oh. On the date. Mm -hmm. Can you show me again maybe how you did it? No, well, that's the... Well, I, I clicked here. Mm -hmm. That's the date. And do you think you can click somewhere else there? Flight details. Could be. Okay, do you want to click on that? Well, I'll <laughs> click on that, but I doubt it's the mm -hmm. right thing to click on. What does this tell you, the flight details? Two hours, 35 minutes, direct flight, no stops, mm -hmm. strange. Mm -hmm. Why don't we stop? Anything okay. else that's clickable? Search flight, feedback, but I don't need that, do I? No. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Why are you laughing? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I don't know, I'll search. But I searched for, for flight already, didn't I? Do you think that button is clickable? No, it doesn't look clickable, but I clicked anyway. Right, yeah. But it should be, search flight. But I know, okay, return, I picked it all, da 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 da. Well, I'll enter like this, maybe that will change something. Where else did you click where that you saw additional information? Okay, economy from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. So these Should, are the three okay. prices, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll click on this mm -hmm. and see what happens. So now? Okay, so now it shows the price, finally, mm -hmm. from Cork to Faro, 190, 191. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, okay, so I guess I'll click on this too, mm -hmm. on the saver. Mm -hmm. Okay, I suppose by clicking on this, they're kind of giving you the option how to, uh, what ticket to pick. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now and continue. Just, uh, before, now I can before see. Before we click on continue, do you see this? I'll scroll down a little. Uh, and there is this um, price lock flight. Do you mm -hmm. know what this is? No. Still deciding. Pay two euro, the 20 euro now and lock your fare for 24 hours. Okay, so you sort of pre-book it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, you, if you want to. Useful? I think so. Would you use it yourself? Uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. If I was like planning to fly, especially mm -hmm. these days, yes, I probably would use it. Mm -hmm. Because um, you don't know. And especially if you are like not sure what your like companion... Mm -hmm. think about the flight because it's not exactly the flight we were planning to pick mm -hmm. at the beginning yeah. say it was saturday and now it's not saturday mm -hmm. so i'd probably do this and then discuss it with the person i'm flying with mm -hmm. so what do you think it does this function it what does it do well helps people to travel in but at ease what what happens when you pri price uh, when you lock the price then what do you well, think? The, the, the price remains the same. Okay, yeah. But yet again, it's 20 euro on top of it all. Like you don't, you don't lock it for free, you lock it for 20 euro. Do you think that's an additional cost? No, it's not. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it's 20 euro on your tickets. How, how do you know this? But it says it. Pay 20 euro more. 
Oh, it's pay 20 euro now. Mm -hmm. What what happens? Can you click into more information? Maybe is there... Okay. Price, lock terms and conditions. So you, 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 yet again, if you think about it, you pay 20 euro and you are not sure if you're going to fly or not. So, but yes, it is additional cost. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you can... Uh, how would you proceed then after this? Will I lock it or will I book it? Well, you see, if I was flying with somebody and I was on my own now, booking the tickets, I would just keep the screen the way it is. I would ring my companion and mm -hmm. ask if he or she is happy enough um, with flying on different dates. And the price is kind of, to me, is high enough for three days to fly, but that's another story. So anyway, I would ring mm -hmm. uh, whoever I'm flying with and ask if it's okay, mm -hmm. if it suits. Or, and if if whoever is flying with me is not answering, I'll text and wait. But I don't think, well, thinking back again, I don't think I would use 20 euro lock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So how do you book the flight then? What are the next and, uh, steps? I'm assuming you continue. Mm -hmm. Very expensive, okay. isn't it? So well, that's okay. all we need to do for now. So we can end this test here. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to ask you some questions as well. Okay. Uh, what did you think of the experience of booking on Aer Lingus? Didn't really enjoy it that much. Mm -hmm. What did you like? What did you not like? I didn't like anything at all. <laughs> uh, okay. What I didn't like. I guess, like to me, obviously, mm -hmm. it wasn't very clear why do they give that information about those three different prices. Mm -hmm. I thought it's just information. I didn't think I have to click on one of them to go ahead, mm -hmm. but I had to. So that wasn't very clear for me. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you like anything? Mm, did I like anything? Well, I guess that bar with the dates going mm -hmm. back and forth is quite convenient mm -hmm. but yet again uh, on this bar i would prefer to see the time of the flight straight mm -hmm. away not just the date mm -hmm. but the time as well mm -hmm. okay yeah um was there anything that you thought you would see that you didn't see anything you expected to see but didn't I actually like the fact that there is no any extra information you know the way like there is no um promotions or whatever mm -hmm. it's just like simple yeah but to me it's a little bit too pale and a little bit industrial or something i don't know i'd like to see a little bit brighter maybe mm -hmm. colors or something like that yeah it's very pale altogether yeah and were you surprised to see anything that you saw surprised not really no mm -hmm. okay yeah that's fine uh, so we can move on to the next task, so now we're going to test a different website, different okay. air, airline. Okay. And the task is basically the same. You are okay. still uh, flying to Faro, but this time you're flying from London. 